Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about Full Metal Alchemist, the 2017 live action movie that's currently on Netflix and express my views, opinions, and concerns, so stay tuned. So lately my wife's been watching Full Metal Alchemist, the anime series. I got her to watch Brotherhood first in the original so she could kind of have something to compare it to, but wanted her to see more of the definitive version that followed the manga by watching Brotherhood first. So that was more her take on the series and she came to me and said, hey, they got the actual live action movie on Netflix. And I was like, okay, I remember seeing release things and previews for like the trailer and all that stuff. and. I knew that I think it was supposed to come out in early December in Japan, and I heard that you know it kind of was a mix of ideas, and people were kind of skeptical about it. But you know, I decided that I'd sit down and watch it. I tried to walk into this with an open mind because, as somebody that enjoys movies and film, I was thinking you know consciously about the fact that there's probably budgetary constraints. It is an adaptation of a manga, anime as the source material so you know I didn't want to be too judgmental and I didn't want to have it to where you know I, I, I thought that it was going to be a failure starting off either but I must say that I was very conflicted when it ended um, they it seemed like they took aspects from both the original 2003 series and Brotherhood and kind of intermixed some of them uh, some of the stuff that they did incorporate, I thought they could have probably done without. And there was a lot of things that for the parts of the story that they did talk about that I felt like they could have probably added some to it. Like, I don't like the fact that they didn't show Fuhrer Bradley at all. Uh, unless they're planning on making this into like a trilogy, which it seems like that that's probably what it's intended to do. Considering that there's only about the first third of content in this not quite sure um you know the opening part seemed pretty good some of the special effects towards the beginning seemed like it it was passable i mean i knew that it was going to be like an, you know an anime type movie uh there was also parts in it though that like just really were very disappointing to me uh you know the creatures at the end when they have the army of the creatures now i understand that that's probably like a lot of CGI and a lot of work to do but they looked a little too cartoony compared to the standard they had already had in the same film towards the beginning. Some of the characters just didn't seem on um, point to me at all. Uh, like Winry for example I just didn't that I, I could not picture that little girl being Winry or woman being Winry at all. Like you have like Lieutenant Hawk um blonde he got a guess you could call him a blonde uh edward like it kind of changed the way that his hair looked throughout the thing and there were other blonde people within it like alphonse's hair was more blonde and looked more natural when you know he was at the gate than edwards was but but like winry they could have at least done like a blonde winry i believe i don't know it was kind of hard to to take her serious and then they kind of put interjected her in parts of the story that she's not even really supposed to be there for and it's like okay well you got to have a female a main female in it mustang was hit or miss with me there were times where i could kind of like see where they were going with mustang and colonel mustang and i was trying my best to kind of really like him because i really liked him in the anime uh i do i liked him a lot and i didn't i, I liked his confidence and i liked the way he was always like it, it was like everything was a chess game he had pawns he put in certain places and that he was always like two or three steps ahead of most anything that was really going on up to the end and this one i just kind of i didn't feel like he had that kind of confidence and that he had that type of authority like he did in the anime at all and that just that might just be the way that i perceived it i'm not sure um the homunculi i believe like they tried very hard uh 
I think Envy wasn't terrible. They did a pretty good job with the way that they did the image of Envy. Uh, Lust, I think, was kind of hit or miss for me as well. Um, <laughs> Gluttony was kind of funny, especially when he was like walking in. He's got like the big rubber where his stomach opens up, or, like jiggling and stuff. That was like my wife even laughed about that one. Um, probably the character that I feel like they got the closest to was uh, Maze Hughes, like the, the 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 actor that played him. The way that he was very uh, vibrant with his acting. The way that he was just he was a character and his look i just i don't know something with that character just it did it for me it was like okay i i believe that's maze hughes that's hughes captain hughes all together so even my wife agreed on that that we we thought that was pretty cool like the pacing of the movie itself just kind of like i i know that you can't do a one-for-one -one match with the anime i know that i completely understand that it's an adaptation it's a live action adaptation for one and again i was trying to think like if i was gonna ha if i could make like an anime based on or a, a movie based on this anime which i think that it's doable i think that out of a lot of the animes i think you really could actually come close to this uh but i think you would need it to be like a mini series or at least you're gonna have to have it like episodial um not 64 episodes or how many episodes that are in you know the actual anime but you need a little bit more time and a little bit more development um some of the flash the ways they did the flashbacks to me kind of like hindered the story progression at times uh some of the things that they sidetracked on like you know instead of going to laboratory number five and then they ended up at the candy cannery the canning factory and i felt like that kind of like took some of the momentum out of what was going on as well because I was really hoping, like, I was thinking when they opened the door and stuff and they walked in, like, I was thinking, oh my god, are they going to have, like, Barry the Butcher come out? Like, that would have been cool. That would have been really neat. Because, like, I was kind of waiting, because, I mean, like, at the beginning it showed Edward, like, fighting the little dogs and doing a couple of things with alchemy. And then it was, like, after that, there was really no action involved at all. Like, no fighting, nothing, like, really of substance besides, like... You see Colonel Mustang using his flame stuff a lot, but I mean, like, Edward himself never really is engaged in battle or, you know, doing what he does in the anime a lot. Like, I was like, okay, so this is where it's going to pay off, and, you know, it's kind of had been hit or miss, but I can forgive it at this point as long as, like, you know, Barry the Butcher comes around with the mask and the hair, and they get a big person to come around and something, and then it just never happened. It ended up being a fight between Alphonse and him. Which never, like, you know, in the in the anime it happens on top of the roof while they're at the hospital. And it's like, like, the, they could have left out the whole story. Like, it didn't need to be in there about the whole, the fake memories and the, how do you know your brother didn't implant these when he brought you back and all that kind of stuff. You know, I was really hoping that they weren't going to dwell on the, I don't know, like... See, this is where my mind's starting to get messed up because I'm thinking about things that are bothering me about it. Um, Tucker, the Tucker part was like, I was really kind of hoping that they were going to go more the Brotherhood route and like it, he wasn't going to be like a big deal. But you could just tell when he was like, I'll see you again, Alphonse or whatever, that like they were going to bring him back. You could tell they were going to do it. And um, like, you know, a lot of it, even if it didn't follow the anime correctly, if you watch enough, enough of this stuff, it, it started getting kind of predictable. And that kind of bothered me some because I was like, all right, you're kind of taking the easy way out with this when there's like plenty of characters that you haven't even really introduced yet that like you could be doing something with. And I was, you know, I was, I was happy that they, not happy, but I, I was pleased that they did the Maze Hughes death scene in the, in the phone, the phone booth. I looked at my wife because I thought that they were going to have Lust go ahead and just kill him while they were in that little room. I was like, dang, if they don't do the, the phone booth thing, that's going to suck because like, this is kind of like a thing, you know, so but they did, they did that well. They're definitely going with the aspect of they're expecting you to be familiar with the series or the show or the manga somewhere for this to make sense. Like if I had no idea um, that about the show, I'd be pretty upset with the ending. Um, I already am, because it's kind of like, well, you know, does, 
there's no to be continued and i haven't heard anything about a sequel um and i knew that like when i saw that the show the movie itself was only two hours 15 minutes i was like how are you gonna cram all that in there like there's no way they're gonna have to like just be doing like some sort of arc or take a lot out to kind of have other thing aspects put into it but for them not to like wrap it up to where there was some type of actual payoff and like i don't know i just it felt really i don't know i think the part of me that gets upset is knowing that people are going to watch this and probably think it's shit and not understand that there is a lot more to this property than what is shown with just this and i hope that somehow this ends up being successful enough to at least um see another part because i mean like no i don't think this was the greatest thing ever but i think it could have been worse honestly i think it could have been worse and i'm excited to see that like all right maybe this if it does well enough and this director can go back in and continue the story from here that like maybe they'll throw a little bit more money at him maybe he can kind of get some uh uh criticism what do they call it constructive criticism to be able to say okay well maybe i need to focus a little bit more on this but i think it's worth actually being able to to finish out like let them have like another movie or two i don't want to rush too much i mean like i kind of feel like i said like take away some of the slower pace and stuff take away some of the stuff that really like if you were watching this and you didn't know anything about the anime like little small things that yeah it was a big deal on the, the the manga and the you know the tv show where you know al and ed have these little doubtful areas and stuff like that but like in this movie itself it didn't lend to any part of the storytelling or moving the plot forward at all it actually kind of dead dead stopped it in the middle and it was like all right you know whenever i'm looking down to be like okay what how, how much more time does this have that's not a good thing and i felt like it was there was a couple of times in this movie that I felt that way because like I started realizing like, okay, so it's already been an hour and a half out of a two hour and 15 minute movie and this is where we're at, which is still pretty early in the series. So like, how how are they going to have some kind of conclusion to this? And I think that's the thing that bothered me the most was that there was not a concrete conclusion to this. I mean, it's just like the train and then, like I thought the movie was ending after they destroyed the homunculi and it showed them all sta standing there with the sunset and it took forever for it to like or the sun coming up excuse me and i thought that like that was going to be the end of the movie and i'm like is that the end like are they really doing that and then it's like it cuts to the train i'm like all right cool it's going on and i was like yeah but time don't look right and they have like a small little bit more and then it actually ends with the train going and i'm like okay well you basically kind of just saw two endings on <laughs> like within five minutes of each other so but you know i mean i know a lot of people are going to probably like really really criticize this and be down on it and not give it the little bit of positive stuff that it does deserve because honestly i mean like if i was a filmmaker and i was able to do that with whatever budget they gave i'd be proud of it i mean i don't think it's a terrible adaptation but i think that it needs to be tightened up in a lot of areas and i think the pacing needs to be worked on a lot like for every special effect that looked great there was like sparks on his uh auto mail that looked like when it looked like it was failing like could have been done with any program you can get for free offline right now and then like the the ending of the um the army just that kind of took me out of it as well i mean i've seen video games that look better than that but all in all i mean i'm not even gonna give this film a rating i don't do that that's not my gimmick but I think that like there is potential for this in the future, and I really hope that the director gets the opportunity to expand on what he has and see what his vision is to continue with the world he created in there. I mean, I'm going to give, you know, the the guy that played Edward, I think did a, a really good job with the prop, you know, with what he had to work with. I don't, I don't hate it. Uh, I think they, the Alphonse armor was not bad at all. Um, you know there were there were legitimate times during this movie that i was intrigued and invested in what was going on and it was a lot better than a lot of like anime adapted movies that i've seen so i mean i can't i'm just i'm willing to give it credit where credit is due but yeah there were a lot of flaws and a lot of problems and i hope that they do get um a chance to just to redeem themselves i mean it's not like they even really gotta redeem themselves i mean it's still it's kind of cool just to be able to say that you had a full metal alchemist 
movie. I mean, it was one of my favorite animes, if not probably my first or second favorite anime of all time. Honestly, I love it. I, lo I love both series for what they are. And I do believe that um, it could have been worse. It could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. So, uh, enough rambling for me. Go see it if you haven't seen it. If you get mad at it, I can't help that. But um, you'll probably see a lot of people... There's a lot of people that do more than this, like these type of things online than I do. I do it sometimes, but you'll probably hear a lot of them like really crying and complaining about it. But that's because I don't think that people are willing to see some of the better things that are available and they just want to nitpick and I don't know. Like I said, I, there's a lot of, there, there are movies out there that I feel like I want my two hours back. Um, this isn't one of them. I don't feel like it was a waste of time. I feel like it just, um, there's potential there. And, um, maybe we'll see more of it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please give it a like. If you disliked it, throw a dislike on it. Let me know why in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the movie. And, um, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.